Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can understand the cost associated to the jobs in your workspace using the cost observability dashboard. So this particular dashboard will query the system tables which are present inside your Unity catalog. It will query those system tables and then show you the visuals and those through those visuals you will understand how the jobs within your workspace are performing over a period of time. Which are the most expensive jobs? Which are the jobs or which are the clusters that you need to look into in order to reduce your job costs? So that is what this dashboard tells you. Now inherently it uses these system tables. Now these system tables I've already discussed with you in the previous video and I've also shown you how to enable the system schemas by default because they uh, how to enable system schemas because by default they're not available. Right. So when you bring up the Databricks workspace, when you create the Databricks workspace, when you enable the Unity catalog, not all of these system tables will be or not all of these system tables and schemas will be available. Right. So we, in the previous video, I've shown you how to enable the lake flow, how to enable marketplace storage, because all of these schemas contain information, operational information about your workspace. Now, this operational information is used over a dashboard like this this is how your dashboard will look like after we do it now this dashboard will actually tell you the performance of all your jobs which jobs you should specifically uh, look into where you can actually optimize and reduce the costs so for that you need to go to this github link There's uh, this github link i will leave the link in the description box you need to download this job systems tables dashboard dot json file so this is the raw file that you need to download into your system once you download this right you can go to your database workspace you can on the left hand side you can click on the dashboard and on the right side you can click on import dashboard from a file because the dashboard is a pre-built dashboard you can change it of course once you change it, you can change it, you can configure it, but this is a pre-built dashboard, so we are utilizing it. So right now you can see that it has been imported. Now it's refreshing, it is querying the tables and everything. So you can see it is nothing but it is the job system tables dashboard. Okay. Now remember that this job system tables dashboard uh, does not include your all purpose cluster information and your serverless information because these are not counted as a job. But apart from that, everything with regards to your workflows, your clusters, uh, which are not all purpose compute cluster, it has all the information and it shows you as well. So right now you see, this is my personal workspace. Of course, I'm not running any jobs over here, right? So that's why you might not see as much data over here but uh, you you will have uh, you'll get a very good idea and understanding so you can see you need uh, unity catalog for it you need to enable system schemas as well which i've shown you in the previous video you can see from a specific date range you know you can uh, query from a specific date range to a specific date range you can select the workspace id if you have multiple workspaces you can select the workspace id if you want to look for a specific job right using the job id you can do that as well right and similarly if you want to look for a particular user who has run a particular job you want to monitor the cost that also you can do similarly if you see 30 day dollar spend right this list is nothing but it is a price right that price is calculated is calculated using number of dbus and the list price per dbu at that moment in time right now these prices that you see on this dashboard are not considering any discounts so if you're working in an organization which has got a discounted price that discounted price is not included but if you have a specific uh, dbu uh, uh, charges associated to a specific type of cluster then that is used over here but no discounts so now if you come down you can see over here daily list by workspace of so the workspace how much a workspace has costed right so that is what it is showing but of course it's not used much most expensive workspace in last 30 days it is going to show you right now it doesn't have data similarly if you can see the daily list 
by SKUs, premium job compute, premium job serverless, which has been used. So in my workspace, I'm using mostly serverless. So that's why you see the serverless yellow over here. Similarly, daily list by run status distribution, mostly it's all succeeded. Similarly, daily run status distribution. Okay, how many came in error, how many were succeeded. Most expensive job in last 30 days. You can scroll down and down and down and you will see even the cluster related information, you know, and this is your entire dashboard. And it, it will look something like this, but yeah, this is only a one picture of it. But eventually you will see, uh, if you have a lot of uh, jobs which are running, you will see a dashboard like this loaded over here, which tells you in detail about your workspace cost right and which jobs actually needs to be more put more thought into and where you can actually reduce the costs as well so if you want to change the visual as well right so if i click here you can go to the widgets at the right hand side over here and then if you want the visualization let's say in the area chart or any other different visualization you can do that and you can save it you can publish it you can share it to different groups of the people different groups or people you can do that and remember that each of these visual is coming from an underlying data set which you can click a three dot over here click on job run cost over here and you will see that this is nothing but these is the data sets which are associated to that particular dashboard this data set is nothing but a query which is run on your system tables right system dot billing dot list prices this price is the table name billing is the schema system is the catalog right so if you if you see system catalog billing list prices this is being used so all these are nothing but these are just the queries most expensive job in 30 days so using all of this you will understand that hey my cost is coming from this particular so and so jobs similarly you can use ai assistant you can query it and you can also edit this chart using the ai assistant at the top right so this is how good uh, this particular dashboard is and it will actually help you as well in understanding the cost optimizing the cost understanding where your cost is actually happening in the entire workspace so thank you so much for being till here this was all about job system stables dashboard or the cost observability dashboard of your jobs thank you so much for being till here do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel